Welcome back, and now we're going to do the good old recipe run. So every single recipe in the game, there are 40 recipes, and all you have to do, I'll explain. So all of, well, that's a little bugged out. Look at that at the bottom. So this is a gift from the town hall for your collection. This has to do with the amount that you, amount of discs that you put in. So you can have three slots of every single type of monster. If you keep putting in more and more and more, not the total. So if you have all 200, you won't even be able to get all these, I don't think. You have to have more than 200 inputted. So just find some random trash mobs, put them in your decks, and eventually, if you keep going back to the town hall, you get these. That's how you get the bottom five. That's the five right there. Great tomato. You have to beat Toma. This is the first time you beat Toma, not the second time. Skulltan. You get this from Doc Grapey. This is a free one from the story, I believe. Scarefolk. From a moving scarecrow in Googlion. Okay, so in the town that has scarecrows, go to your left right outside the building and then go in and out until you see a scarecrow. On right outside the, the town, there's a scarecrow. Talk to it and then talk to the scarecrow in the upper right of part of town and you'll find a disc and it's moving. You can see it. It's pretty easy. Puzz. Uh, found tape to the hut in Pecan Forest. They're in the middle of the forest where you find Ambergee and the plant at the end of the game. Somewhere on the thing. I think it's in the front. You click it and you pick it up and you can find it. By the way, just you can do all these at the end of the game. Each of them are at certain parts of the game, but I don't remember which. It's kind of hard to find. Learn 10 disc moves and then go to Pisa Grotto. There's a guy halfway through just walking around and you talk to him and he gives it to you for free. Mechapron. There is a secret part of Jugalian Woods. So halfway through Jugalian Woods, there's a really long section. In the middle of it, there's a thing that you go down, and if you keep find if you keep going through that area, which is very simple, and you can't miss it, you'll find the disc for this. Melog. Won by whistling and beating Melog. So if you do the whirlpools and whistle enough, I think it's like 30 times, a Melog will come up and fight and challenge you. And you beat it, and that's how you get it. One by really beating Toma. You have to fight him with only tomato monsters. There's only like five tomato monsters in the game and you can only get four first. Once you beat him the second time, which is round two, uh, he has like level 40 monsters, I think, 43 or something. So you really have to beat him, do pretty well. But you can only beat him with tomato monsters. It's tomato versus tomato. Denti. We beat uh, one by beating the lazy Denti in town. After a certain chapter, go to the bottom left of the main first town and you will find him hiding away. And uh, you bother him like once or twice, and then he goes nuts, and you have to kill him, and then he turns back to normal, and you get Dentor. Aquatoid. Behind Pisa Grotto. After you fight Pisa Grotto, go back to Pisa Grotto, and there will be a hidden waterfall. And behind the waterfall is like four new monsters, I think three, three or four, and the disc for that. Big Hand. Found in a 10 Pico executive, uh, executive course. So there is a... In the cave, there is a guy digging, and if you give him money, a certain amount of money, and specifically, you will randomly get it. The easiest way to do this is to simply go back to town, uh, heal your monsters, then go back in to get it again. Bigfoot won by finishing all of the type of trainings. Oh, this one's pretty hard. So there's a training girl above the second town with the scarecrows in it. You have to beat her twice, I believe. Um... First of all, all of the winning, the easy ones, which are only like level 14, and then all of them when they're level 50. You can use any monsters you want. It doesn't matter. Once you're all done, that's how you get it. Found in the Scrap and Pecan Forest. Yeah, this one's, I believe, at the end. You get it for free. It's a story one. Break ya. One from a Disker in Jugalian Woods. One from a Disker in Jugalian Woods. Oh, yeah, okay. Later on, near the end of the game. Go up to Jugalian Woods, and there'll be a new guy before you even hit the woods. Fight him, beat him, he's not that hard. You get it. Lost in Pisa Grotto, but fished back up. Near the end of Pisa Grotto, if you take a left and go into this water area, you find it, but it blows away. What happens is it goes down, so after the chapter is over, find the fisherman in Pisa Grotto outside fishing. And he, there's not that many. I think there's only like two. One of them gives it to you for free. He fished it up out of the water. Waking up a Mineroar in Mon Tunnel. In Mon Tunnel, there is a Mineroar that is in your way. There is a move called Alarm Bell that basically every sound-based monster has. Use that. You have to have it on your team. It has to know uh, Alarm Bell as well. You wake it up. Behind it is the disc. 
Uh, oh, by the way, the recipes, you have to fuse things. So. A gift from Disc Trading and Juglon. There is a girl who disc trades, and you have to give her what you want, and she'll give you... I think if you give them all three of what she wants, they're very specific monsters. I think they're the same every time. She'll give you this at the end. Use recarbonation ten times on a creature. This one's easy. You have to make, it th make something go up ten levels, recarbonate. Ten levels, carbonate. Do this ten times on one creature. I think it has to be the same creature, I'm not sure. You get ten points. And... Wait, you have to... Oh, I used it. So you have to actually use it. You max out the character. Once you do that, it'll be like, Wow, you did a great job! And then they just give it to you. Found by Auntie's House on Piece of Path. Okay, on Piece of Path, there is a character that does a little card game with you. On the right, if you look down, there's an area that you can kind of slip through. And at the end of that slip through is the disc recipe. One from the dragon Hateros. In the EX chapter in the game, uh, by the way, as an EX chapter, skip this if you don't want spoilers. There are, spoilers now, hidden dragons. This is the grass dragon. What you have to do is you have to go to the forest, find the, the note halfway through. It's where the, it's where the disc healer area is. There is a music note guy in the EX chapter. And after you fight him, he's the conductor, by the way. You te he tells you to go to get all the dragons. One of the dragons is Hateros, which is a plant dragon, and you can only find it after doing the 999 plant. Um, this, it's at the end of a hidden forest. You go back to the forest after you beat the forest for the first time. At the end, there's another forest. In order to get there, you have to go to Pita Pass, talk to the ghost that's there. There's only one ghost, and it's just chilling in town. And after you do that, go back to the where you buy the books and look at the back of the book uh, sign. On the back of the sign is the exact combo that you have to use. It's different every time. I can't tell you what the actual code is because it changes. Once you have that code, go to the forest and do that exact code. Once you hit the end, you'll find a lady who is in trouble and needs 999 monies to upgrade her thing. Once you're done, the ghost buddy of her will tell you um, where the hidden area is. The actual answer to this, as far as I understand, in my game, it was do up like five times. So you have to do up five times, but it won't activate unless you do all of these things. If you, so <laughs> follow my YouTube guide. It's a, it's a little easier that way. But, uh, you know, play more. Found in the 30 pedo executive, uh, excavator course. So there's another thing. You go back to the same person eventually. He'll ask you for 30. Randomly, you'll get Claymore out of 30s. Climb to Mount Azazel with no flame types. Go to the top of Mount Azazel with no flame types. You can change halfway up if you want. You just have to You just have to be at the top with no flame types. A uh, Memony, uh, every, get every single Whirlpool monster. Find every single Whirlpool in the game. Eventually, you can get a book which shows you that you're missing monsters. Fill all the monsters and all the whirlpools, and then you can do that. And then I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's a fisherman in that in the water area in one of the houses, and he's like, "Oh, okay, you have all 14 monsters. Great job. Here's this one. Winning 20 times in high and low. Okay. Before you go to the water area, on the path in the upper right of the path, where you got the other item." which I talked about. There is a card game guy. You have to win 20 times in a row. It's not that hard. Pick the one that seems higher or lower. It's a very simple game. Anyone, a little kid can beat it. But it just takes a little effort. You have to pay a little money. It's not that hard. Alice, the hidden room in the sand pit. Okay, when you go down to the sand pit, um, halfway through the sand pit, there is a gigantic arrow on a moving sand area. And it's kind of hard to see. It's part of the background. But it's indicating that there is a hidden room in there. And that hidden room is this recipe. Red Fleshia. One from the Fleshia below the clock. There is a clock dungeon. To get to the clock dungeon, you have to have a earth, water, and fire, I believe, on your team at all times. And then the door will open. Uh, I, it's earth, not rock, by the way. Not rock. It's a different element. At the end, there's a boss. You kill it, you get the disc. It's a dungeon. It's an extra dungeon. 
Earning 500 DC at the Disc Coliseum, that's uh, post-game. Beat the Everlitting Crud with any with your best team in the Disc Coliseum. Eventually, they'll just give it to you. One by beating Mr. Disker. Okay, you have to beat Mr. Disker by fighting him in the Disc Coliseum, but only after, I believe... No, no, I think you don't have to break his machine. But if you do, keep buying things from him. After like 30 or 40 times, his machine breaks. And then I believe he, you see him there later. Or maybe you don't have to break his machine. The Saigon. This is the Water Dragon. So once you've beaten the Conductor from the Water Dragon, you have to... There's an area where he says... It's like the end of a bridge. And it says there's a hidden creature in there or something like that. But... If you're in the EX chapter and has already fought the Conductor, that person will be gone. You go down there, go around the little rock part where you can easily walk, and it's obviously you can walk there. You walk up and play the flute and get the fight the dragon. This one's easier. It's in Mount Azel. Scorgon. Left behind for a true disker. Mm -hmm. Scorgon's a little hard in order to get him. After you beat the game and the tomato... Um, your friend is gone. So, what you do, there is a... It shows you, actually. There's an area in the deep first forest where you fought Puzz. There is a plant there. After every dragon that you defeat, go back there and talk to the plant. Nothing happens, but the, it'll note that the plant is getting bigger. Once you do that, after all of the dragons, go back there, and it will be there. If I recall. No, no, no. Um, it won't actually literally be there. It'll mention that the plant is gone and you have to go into the Mr. Grapey's uh, science lab and it will be in the back. And a police officer will mention that somebody went in there and that you are the second person to try to go in. And it was obviously, uh, um, Ambergy obviously left it for you. Glavern, this is the advanced training. So remember that person that said you had to beat just north of the Scarecrow Town? Beat her with all 50, and that's how you get this one. A random prize from Mr. Disker's creature. Yes, okay, so if you break his machine after doing 30, 40 times, he gives you statics. Pyroclasius. The Dragon Pyroclasius. Once you beat... Once you're in the EX chapter, and you have beaten the Conductor already, from the woods, from the... No, uh woods again he's in the woods in the same area where you heal your, heal your monsters and then you go left fight him again these are all three dragons once you get to the third dragon doesn't matter what order you do them in them by the way it doesn't matter go back to where you fought claymore which is the fused mud creatures he will be in that exact location alias one from 18 victories from the disc costume you have to win 18 times in a row this actually isn't that hard. It only gets hard around like level 14. Make sure everything's level 50. Make sure you have great spread coverage for your monsters. Make sure you cover your monsters. A tank, a healer, a regular attacker. It's not that hard. I got to 27 and I played for many, many hours, but it's not that hard. I think I did it on my like eighth try or something. I mean, if you're really gonna, <laughs> let's be honest. If if you're, you're a true, you're a true Pokemon fan. You're a true monster fan if you're actually getting that far. And the final one? Fan gone. Proof the legend was set free. Ooh, I like that description. Basic, that's not actually a description at all, by the way. So, once you... The EX chapter is about finding Fagon. Once you find all of the dragons and you beat them all, you don't have to install them or level them up or anything. The four, the three locks to Fagon's Eep will be unlocked, and you fight him and defeat him, and he is the final boss. Also, he is in Azel Mountain. It's obvious, though, because just exploring Azel Mountain. So right before the, the peak of Azel Mountain, go to the right, and I believe down... Yeah, he's to the right and below, right after you get to the peak. So there's, like, you go up to the peak, but instead of going up, just take a right and then go down and follow the path, and that's where Fagon's Lair is. And that's it. That's every single... Whew, man, that's a lot. That's a lot of fusions. Whew. And I, I ah, now I can't show the fusions, can I? Because they're not in correct order, because I don't remember which ones are the fusions. 
Uh, there's another video where I show all of the monsters. If you want to see what the monsters look like, that's great. You can watch it in that video. I'll leave it in the description. I'll see you guys. Probably, I think this is the last episode. I don't think I need to explain anything else. Yep, that's everything. I beat the whole game 100%. 100 percent though. Anyway, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Leave a like and sub.